Game one of the best of three NBL finals, and as it was in 88, so it was in 89. For the Canberra Cannons, a chance to win back-to-back -back championships, while for the North Melbourne Giants, a chance to win their first ever NBL title. The Giants seek revenge at the Palace as we join the closing stages of Game 1. Canberra's defense quickly converting. It's often you'll see a press originate after the team scores because they have that moment to set themselves. But they lost the ball and a rebound that time and quickly rotated into that uh, Don't tell me this situation. is going to be another one of these last shot of the game finishes that these two teams are becoming renowned for. Up here earlier in the year that North led. And right on the siren, Jamie Kennedy threw up a miracle shot that went in for Cannons to win by one. McKeeson makes them both for 17. And these two teams have a habit of doing the unexpected. Canberra press up again. Bringing their two big fellas, the boulders bringing up the ball for them that time. The guards are at the other end, taking, trying to take Smythe out of the play. And Dukumaru, both tremendous ball hawks. Pressure again, no passing lanes. That Smythe is called for on the elbow. Signaled clearly by Bill Mildenhall, that was a let off for the Giants because they've really been rocked back on their heels by this aggressive oh, Canberra yes. defense. Arm went straight was. in oh, and twice. straight back out. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Smith, I don't think could, uh, when he gets a chance to see that one again, won't have too much to complain about. But the penalty could be severe because it sends Fisher to the line for a one and one. And he's a great foul shooter, especially in tight situations with a minute 50 to go in game one of the grand final series. It's not going to get much tighter than this. Giants by seven. 107 to 100. But the cannons are right in this as well. Dufelmeyer three. Rebound Dillon. Again there's the press up. This time they can shake it loose. Oh, flicked away by Fisher and Cannons get it back. Dufelmeyer at the other end underneath the pass from Smelter. And they convert a turnover into two baskets and they press again and North in trouble getting the ball into offense. Fisher down to Dillon. They called for a travel but it wasn't there. Fisher with North the ball. North got the shakes a bit here with a minute 19 to go. 107 to 102, North by five. They're letting Canberra press up because they aren't attacking the basket. That's the way they want to do it, North Melbourne. They've got to keep attacking the basket as Exum hits two. A minute to go in game one. Dufelmeyer, baseline, <laughs> tapped in. Tempted tap in, Cottrell. I think Cottrell's got it. 109 to 104 as they press again, and North have got 10 seconds to get it over. Someone's loose, Mark Wright, under the basket. Gives it back to Exum, he should have shot. They lose it and Canberra have got a chance to get closer. Smythe for three misses. Cottrell gets the rebound. Unbelievable finish here. 40 seconds. 40 seconds in the match. The shot is missed again and a rebound by North Melbourne. Mark Wright making up for his mistake at the other end. Quickly gets it over half court. Fouled. Is fouled. fouled by Dufelmeyer in an unbelievable finish. Here at the Palace in Canberra. Timeout. No timeout. Bruce Palmer, yes, he's calling his players to the bench now. The scoreline, 109 to 104. The Giants lead by five. Oh, Bill, the unbelievable pressure from Canberra. North really have got the shakes a couple of times down the court, but fantastic pressure from the Cannons. Well, they've asked their big fellas to bring the ball up the court, which is fine in theory, I suppose, but the, the guards from the Cannons have been receiving their guards and pressuring the big men. They're all over the court. North Melbourne has gone very negatively. They're just trying to keep control of the ball, and you have to punish it because what that allows you to allows the Cannons to do is to put two and three men on the ball sure. all the time. Eventually, you're going to spear it loose. Well, plus their guards are playing at the top of the key, so if they do shake it loose, they're pretty quick to get down to the other end. So let's check the time left in this match. There's five seconds left on the timeout, and then check to see how much match time is left. Exactly 30 seconds. The Giants trying to win this game one. They lead by five. What a fantastic finals game. This has, has had everything. But fast breaks. <laughs> <laughs> everything but fast breaks. Right. Somebody threw up a wall and said nobody's going to run here. Side ball to North Melbourne. And again, this all-court press by Canberra, which has been so successful for them. And they can bring it into either side of the court. And they bring it into the backcourt. That's a good move. Pressure remaining. 26 seconds remaining to play. Five. Flicks it back. Brilliant. Fisher gets it at the other end, it's loose. Yes, North Melbourne come up through Fisher. 
checking the clock. 15 seconds to go. This is Carroll in underneath. Big slam dunk attempt by Tim Dillon. Fouled by Phil Smythe who goes to him and says sorry. And that will be a shooting foul and well, probably the end for Canberra. That was a tough foul, whatever it was. We were ducking for cover. Oh, Smythe with the foul and Cottrell with the big block after that took out Dillon, but it was Smythe called with the first foul. There's 11.5 seconds left and now Bruce Palmer has called another time out. Let's check the score. Got to stand up to see over the people. It's 109 to 104, the Giants by five. And when play restarts, there is 11 and a half seconds left. Let's just look at a summary of this game. At quarter time, the Giants led by two. Big second quarter by Canberra. They led by seven. They also led by four at three quarter time, but it's been all north in this last period. They got out to lead by nine. They now lead by five. The Cannons are back on the court. Here come the Giants to join them. And Tim Dillon will go to the line and shoot two. For Phil Smythe, that was his third personal foul. Oh what a tremendous finish. Yeah, These two teams have given us everything, haven't they, Bill? Really, the cannon defense. You wonder what they would do to teams if you were capable of physically playing the defense they played the last five minutes for the whole game, as we <laughs> suggest, suggest that score. Dylan. <laughs> Dylan's been back to hit one out of his two foul shots. He doesn't. This is the both. Three pointers wanted here. There's six seconds left now. Who's going to take a Cottrell for three? Missed. Foul in underneath. And I think the foul's on Mark Wright. Yes. He's got to stand up here because we're right next to the Canberra bench and every time there's any activity they stand. Foul on Mark Wright. One and one. One and one for Canberra. The clock is stopped with 4.7 seconds left and there's the giant frame of the Canberra coach Andy Campbell. Well, what they have to count on now is making those two foul shots, stealing the inbounds pass, and they've got to rotate somebody out to the three-point line because the two-pointer won't do it for them. 109 to 104 and 4.7 seconds left. Good man to have on the line, Phil Smythe. 20 at halftime, very quiet since then. Well, Only has 22, hasn't scored, I don't think, in the second half, but that's a big foul shot. We reiterate again, Graham, he, they make this one, they have to scatter and get that inbounds pass. If North Melbourne gets the ball in, that's all she wrote. Five tries to miss it, Fisher comes down, that'll foul. do it. Fisher was fouled, and 3.7 seconds left. I think Smythe deliberately tried to hit the front of the ring and try to get the rebound and kick out for a three-pointer, but Fisher got a very big, strong, aggressive rebound. I don't know the advantage in that, Graham. I, I suppose that a uh, three-pointer to only get you within one. The way they were going to get within or tie it up was to make both those foul shots sure. and steal the inbounds pass. This is still not over though. The Giants four, four point break to North Melbourne with 3.7 seconds get a, left. Get a shot at the floor. There's four Giants on the other side of half court. Nobody rebounding for Fisher. He likes that. Margin is now five. 34 points for Fisher. Well, that's a big emphatic statement, isn't it? 34 points and about 12 big rebounds. Makes the second. Time, two seconds, one second. There's the Hooter and North Melbourne draw first blood in the 1989 Kmart Final Series. Their first win in Canberra in six trips. Six trips and now they finally win North Melbourne. 111 have beaten the Cannons 105.